Cinco de Mayo, written by Mary Dodson Wade. Cinco de Mayo, it is time to party. Parades go down the street. Mariachi bands play music. Dancers move their feet to the fast music. Cinco de Mayo means the 5th of May. It celebrates something that happened in Mexico long ago. It was 1861. The country of Mexico was free, but it had many problems. Mexico had spent years fighting many wars. It owed a lot of money to other countries. Many of the Mexican people were poor. Benito Juarez was president of Mexico. He wanted to help his people. He stopped paying back money to the other countries. The ruler of France wanted his money. He also wanted to take over Mexico. He sent soldiers there. The soldiers marched across Mexico. General Zaragoza waited for the soldiers at the city of Puebla. He thought his men could not win the battle. The French soldiers had better weapons. They had a much bigger army too. General Zaragoza had a plan. On May 5, 1862, he put his men on two hills outside the city. The French tried to go up the hills, but the Mexican soldiers fought them off. Then a rainstorm came. The French soldiers slipped in the mud. They could not get up the hills. The Mexicans won the battle. The battle showed that Mexicans would fight hard to keep other countries from taking over Mexico. President Juarez was proud of the soldiers. He made Cinco de Mayo a holiday. Today, people in Mexico and the United States celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Girls wear white blouses and red and green ruffled skirts. These are the colors of Mexico's flag. Boys wear white shirts and red sashes. Sometimes they wear big hats called sombreros. On Cinco de Mayo, families go to carnivals and festivals. They watch people perform in shows. Children break piñatas. Goodies fall to the floor. There is lots of fun and good food. Cinco de Mayo is a day to remember an important victory for Mexico. It is a day of pride.